What we're gonna do is we're not gonna worry about food. We'll do about 15 feet. I'm gonna distract her with this. Uh, we'll start low, like eight-ish, eight which is low level tapping. And then incrementally go up while I have her engaged till we find her number, 12 or whatever. Because I did a little bit with her yesterday, she's got a good drive. So we'll start at eight, roll low, and then 10, and then 12, until we start to see her disengage. And then right when she disengages, when I say yes, just lay off the pressure, because I'm gonna give her the, uh, the tug again. Okay, so go ahead and release her. And give her like 15, 20 feet of slack. And let me know when you're tapping. Right there, hold. Yes! Good girl. Oh. Oh. Go down to 10. Trap or out. Give a little bit more slack. Yes. Good girl. Ah. Oh. Good girl. Ah. Good girl. Oh. Oh. Out. So the reward, of course, is the game. Secondary reward is the catch. She releases back to the game. So here, once we get her to learn the game, we're gonna start pairing this with her training. Ah. Oh. Cause right now we just want her to learn the, ah, the game of out. Ah. And then the immediate reward, yes. Out. Yes. The last second here, kind of whipping it out of her range. Oh, good girl. Always balancing with some winds, right? Letting her have it for a bit. Otherwise it's no fun if I always win. Good girl. Test the patience a little bit now. Okay, so we have to do this topic by topic. First topic is teach the release and the re-engagement. Good. Now here, tap. Right. Tap. Yep. Good. Because we want to create craziness. Tap. So of course, out means tap. Good. Until I give permission again. Yep. Good girl. Good girl. Of course, and then we'll shape this up till she gives more eye contact here. So she's not so crazy for the tug. Yes! And then re-engage. So here, good girl. We'll have something that we can also use for like the recall stuff. Out. Good. Try. You know about the circular motion with the, uh, with the um, foot pole? It's like, if you're going in a circle and you're not doing the quick jabs, like the whatever, uh -huh. you have to keep moving and let them get it, not stop and get it. Yeah, so there's like, I mean, it's years since I saw it, but there's like just a continuous kind of turning and flipping of it. Or like I'll let it sit, and then right when they get there, I'll pop it to move it. So they're snapping, and right when they're snapping, it's flying from their face to build frustration. And then she'll either catch it naturally, or I'll let her have one. Yep. 
I'll let her have one. Yep. 27. Huh, 27, there's a little one. Um, or then, I, or I'll like pop it over her head. So she's going zoom, zoom, zoom. But typically it's like this, right? To build the frustration, and eventually giving them the catch. Okay. okay. So here, go ahead and just, you're gonna cue the yes, plop it in front of you, and just start the circular game. Okay. Just going in circles? Yeah. Not too quick. Uh, we'll start with the circles and we'll start doing the popping. Okay. Good. Now here, when you yeah pull in, and then when you feel her tug back, you give in. Right yeah. And then when you give in, like you hear me go like ah, right? Just to like help build more drive for her, because you want her to get, of course, excited about it, and there to be engagement. And when you do the pulls, you're really going by her. It's so like right there, you started kind of moving her around, as opposed to feeling her and then giving in when she gives the tug back, okay? okay? So give some resistance here, uh, resistance. So you're gonna pull, yeah. And then when you feel her pull back, yes. You, ah, there you go. Yes, give in, now pull back. And then give you up right there, good girl. Right, and then give in. So anytime you feel her kind of pull back on it, there you go, and then give in, there you go. Good. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on your tug game, Enrique. <laughs> Good. Out. Yeah. Good. Wait a second. Good. So now she's doing good with, we're keeping drive. I dipped it down to 22. Keeping drive at the same time, uh, getting control now. Could let her have it for a little bit. All right, good. See how she brings it to you, good girl. So if she walks up to you, praise her, because that's her wanting to re-engage. Yep, good girl. Going to give now going to grab a line and tug a little bit. So when she when you see her bring it back to you, she's saying continue the game. Okay. So then we praise, grab tug a little bit more. So you're gonna give some, some tension here. Yep. And then and then give in to her when you start to feel her pull back. Right there, good girl. Put some, uh, yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna, we're gonna test this real quick. Go ahead and uh, move her back that way, but keep her engaged. We're gonna do a little test here. Keep tugging with her. Okay. Here, I'm going to do a recall. And when she returns to me yeah. and I praise and I cue her to break, I'm gonna kind of charge towards you to build her momentum. Okay. And then you'll have the foot pole going okay. to incentivize her, okay? Azula, come, tap. Yes. Tap, right, good girl. Tap, tap. Oh, there's a frustration there, right? Break, yes, go. There we go. Good, yeah, keep her engaged there. I'm gonna do a recall. Let's just get this under her paw. Right, there we go. Azula, come, tap. Yes. Tap, tap. Yes, break, go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Zula, come, tap, tap. Yes, come here. Tap, tap. Yes, break, go. Good girl. So come, tap, 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 yes, good girl. So here I'm gonna send her, but I'm gonna call her mid-send. Yes, go, break. So come, tap, 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 yes, good girl. Break, go, yes, get it. And here at the end, you just let her have it, and we're just gonna walk her out and then put her to rest, okay? So let her have it as you're walking her out and just grab the leash there. Good girl.